Today we're doing something absolutely insane. We're gonna see if it's possible to make a knife out of sodium metal. And what would happen if you stabbed it into something that's got water in it? What would happen if you stabbed it into a human? And- That seems uncomfortable. It probably wouldn't feel great. <laughs> but would it blow you up? We gotta find out. We gotta know. <laughs> also, we've got this arrow and this nice broadhead. We're gonna slip some sodium right over the top of this, wrap it around the arrow fire it into this watermelon so the sodium, sodium is suspended. exploding <laughs> arrows. Yes, <laughs> very exciting. Have you ever seen exploding arrows in video games? We're making them in real life. Let's do it. Okay, I just pulled this roll of sodium out of our mineral oil bath. Sodium reacts with the water in the air, so you've got to keep it suspended in oil or else it will start reacting. Perfect. So we slide that over the arrow, then carefully screw on our broadhead. Perfect. So this broadhead is gonna create enough of uh, cutting and stress in the hole in the watermelon that it's gonna be able to push this sodium sleeve right into the watermelon. And then we're gonna wait for the explosion. All right, so this broadhead is gonna go straight through the watermelon and create enough of some cuts right there so we can push the sodium straight through. And when it hits the board in the back, the sodium's gonna be suspended directly in the middle of the watermelon, and we'll just wait for the explosion. So we're not really sure how big of a bang there's gonna be. Uh, this is a decent amount of sodium. If we put this in pure water, it would create a big bang. Hopefully we can get the whole watermelon to explode. Only one way to find out. In three, two, one. Oh, it's, it's, it's fizzing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, we got flames. Oh, please explode. Oh, please it's explode. getting please more explode. intense. Whoa, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sodium, when it reacts with water, it creates hydrogen gas, which is what's causing all the flames you're seeing there. That's hydrogen burning. Oh, no way, look at the arrow. <laughs> That's awesome. It destroyed the, what is this, carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. fiber. All the sodium, first of all, is gone completely. So it all reacted, and that's what all the flames shooting out were. Didn't explode, unfortunately, but look at how it destroyed this arrow completely. And our, well, our watermelon is bleeding. <laughs> that was crazy. This will explode, because it's all liquid water. So we're gonna shoot it, and then run. Don't miss. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> oh no, it didn't Did it not go in. It. It's on the outside. It's dripping on it. Yeah, but it's not gonna explode. Well, never mind. That did. <laughs> Little bit. It's not gonna blow up the jug oh, though. It's boiling the water. No way it is boiling the water. And it's eating all the sodium. Uh oh. If we could get the sodium inside the jug. Stab it with the knife. <laughs> <laughs> We've got more jugs. Let's shoot it again. Okay. Firing in three, two, one. Are you kidding me? That went all the way through the board, too. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> I think it went all the way through that time. I think it might have. No. <laughs> that went off fast, though. It yeah, did, I, think. I hadn't even Let's turned see. around before it went. Yeah, it went all the way through. Dag nab it. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's the money shot right there. <laughs> well. Is it? What happened? Oh, it saw it looking out the back and now it's not it was submerged inside. anymore. It was inside, it was inside, it was inside. the jug. What happened? <laughs> of course. Now the sodium's gone. It's not on the arrow anymore. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it on the ground? I think so. I think whatever reaction we saw, that was it. Yeah, the sodium's gone. What the heck? What? We cannot get sodium to explode inside the jug. That's so sad. So we decided to forge a knife out of some sodium, and you can't do this hot. I'll show you what happens when you get sodium hot. Um, it literally just turns into It, it starts nothing. melting. I think it'll melt completely. Much. The melting point of sodium is actually pretty low. It's like 208 degrees or something. It's very remarkably low. So you can actually melt it in a pot on your stove if you wanted to. Just be careful. But it's so soft, unlike other metals, you don't need to heat it up to forge it. It's basically the consistency of hard clay. 
you can literally just push your knife right through this stuff. Keep it's, in mind, this ugh. is straight metal that I'm just cutting through like metal clay. Metal that's as soft as clay. Really cool. It's crazy. Make sure to show it that, yeah. Okay. The unoxidized metal side there, yeah. Yeah. See how it's shiny just like metal compared to the oxidized side on the surface? Yeah, super cool. Very dull on this side, nice and shiny here. This but, will also oxidize over time. As it's exposed to the air and the water in the air, it'll oxidize and turn darker gray like the top. Okay, let's just put this one back in the pot. Like, this Has bit. anyone ever tried this before? I've never heard of anyone trying to hand for sodium. sodium. <laughs> so this, this could be a true, first. This is a true experiment. <laughs> It seems to be shaping like remarkably well. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. <laughs> I think the only thing we're gonna get out of this is a spike. Like there's yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's so oily, it's not gripping. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uh, uh, oh, the tip broke off. Oh, <laughs> no! That was okay, we can make another one. <laughs> I gotta keep it like all the way on the anvil so it doesn't slide up. It really does. <laughs> Here, I can it make does. it look more like a pencil. Hang on. Oh my gosh. The forbidden pencil. Uh huh. Yeah, we were gonna. We wanted to stab the ballistic gel with it, but look. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm worried <laughs> that maybe that's not gonna work all that well. <laughs> Just taper this down. I can't stand that it's not as smooth as. <laughs> the more tapered it is, the weaker it's going to be, though. Nope, nope, nope. As long as the taper has the same uh, slope, then it's, it acts like a pyramid. It's really strong. So, yeah. The tip is thinner, though. That tip is not going to look. Now it's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's blunt. <laughs> but I can squeeze it with my fingers, and if my skin doesn't turn to soap, no, that takes longer. Look, it's sharper than it was. This is my fingertips. I, I thought sodium would be a little harder than this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it was quite that it soft. It is so soft. Hang on, it's not straight. Okay. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay. All right, well, I, this is what we've got. Um, and I think we'll even have to hold it more centered to be able to stab it into the ballistic gel. I want knife shape. Um, Jake, I, will I want it to look like my this. My anvil. It's and supposed my to look like this. And my glove. I'm just so we've got two different knives here. Karim forged out a spike. A spike! Um, Max, why did you forge potential. a spike? I, I really felt like that wasn't gonna be structurally sound enough and I could just stab straight in with this. He gave up really fast and then I quickly forged this Gave out. up nothing. And it worked great. And I, I had a this better, be better idea. This is gonna perform better and it looks cooler. I mean, it does look cooler, but this is gonna perform better. Okay, so try that one first. Okay, here we Let's go. see what that does to the ballistic gel. I'm gonna run that way. I'm so ready, man. Okay, tell me when Please I should explode. go. Please explode. Please explode. <laughs> right? Please explode. Yes! <laughs> it fell out. What? It melted out. Hmm. All right, three, two, one. Oh, please stay in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it stayed, I mean, it was pretty strong though. It's not hard to stab. Please stay in, please stay in. Oh my God. It just went faster at Are the you end. kidding me? <laughs> you shove that thing on top of it and then we run. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Please explode. Come on, at Please least do some flames. Something. <laughs> it's not even flaming. Might take a second. 
Eventually it'll get hot enough where the, oh, 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 oh it's look. cracking the gel. Oh. I wouldn't want to get stabbed with it. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the sodium. Oh, it's going to drip onto the water-soaked ground. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that molten metal, it's beautiful. Yep, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have hit that more dead on. <laughs> All right, so we haven't had amazing success so far. What we're gonna do though, is I'm gonna cut a hole in the top of this watermelon so we can jam the spike straight down in there because it is way too soft to pierce the watermelon <laughs> rind by itself. Yeah, unfortunately. So. Sodium doesn't make great knives. No. Uh, I would choose a harder metal, personally. Me too. But let's do this. All right. Really, I wonder if the watermelon has enough water content. It probably does. It probably does. Uh, you probably want a face shield to sho shove it in there. That's, and a, that's a good, good idea. Face shield and welding glove. Do not try this at home. It jumped out! It jumped out! It popped out! It Are popped you serious? Out. Okay, so I don't have to stab it. This time I can just drop it in. Maybe you should have stabbed it. Oh no, <laughs> there we go. Me? There's some action. Here we go. Please explode. Come on. It's not gonna do it. It's I mean, it looks, really cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. It looks really cool. As I said that. Yes! Gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> Finally! Dude. That dude, was the coolest what one yet. What the heck? That, that, where, where's the watermelon? <laughs> there like, is no is watermelon it? left. I can't I find... mean, just like the plane that hit the White House. It vaporized. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit the White House. It hit the Pentagon. That, whatever it was. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. These are the biggest pieces we can find. <laughs> you see the delay though? That delay, the sodium has to liquefy and that liquid has to mix with the water inside and then it goes. Yeah, it atomizes and it's that pressure that creates the explosion because just the hydrogen gas burning is not enough. No. Well, for an experiment, it was so reactive, it was really difficult to finally get something to explode. It was, the watermelon was epic. It was a bit frightening. I, I didn't think it was gonna explode with that much ferocity. It was really cool. I loved it. I loved it. So thanks for joining us. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, let the random happen. See you next time. <laughs> Get out of my shot. Ah! I guess you're not <laughs> trusted, Jake. Oh, you ran it off completely again. Gosh, Jake. I was trying to get you to do all the work. Why did one of the razors fall out? And hopefully there's enough water in a watermelon to explode. I hope so.